let me let me pull this article up. I'm not gonna pull it up on screen, but um, so Phil was interviewed again by Polygon. Um, Polygon asked him directly if he could envision the future where he likes PC gaming platforms such as the Epic Game Store on Xbox Series X and S, and he certainly seemed open to the notion. He said yes. Uh, nobody would blink twice if I if I said, hey, when you're using a PC, you get to decide the type of experience you have by picking where you buy games. Uh, that's the real that there's real value in that. Um, and he's, although in the case of Epic Storefront and for as much as I appreciate the impressive library games, it's a mass of monthly free titles. Um, hot damn, does Epic launch a crash on me way too often? Then Spencer says, all I will say, and this may seem too altruistic, I don't know that it's growing the industry when it comes to <clears throat> subsidizing hardware and stuff like that. Um, so I think, what are the barriers? What are the things that create friction in today's world for creators and players? And how can we be a part of opening that model? He says, right now, if I want to play game, <clears throat> play on a gaming PC, then I feel like I'm more of a, a continuous part of the gaming ecosystem as a whole, as opposed to on console. My gaming is kind of shard, sharded, uh, to use the gaming term, based on these different closed ecosystems that I have to play across. Bro, what he's saying. He's, he's recognizing, this is just my words, he's recognizing that these closed systems that we have on console, the reason why PC numbers are going up and up and up, right, is you, you do have the choice there. Like, <clears throat> granted, you might like not like the Epic launcher, you might not like the Ubisoft launcher, God, whatever, right? Or, you, you know, you like Steam, Xbox Game Pass is there, the Windows Store is there, but you have all these options. Riot is there. You have all these options. But when it comes to console, you only got one store to choose from. You know what I mean? Now, granted, you can use the browser <clears throat> for NVIDIA GeForce Now, and and other uh, you know streaming or cloud based type technologies, um, but when it comes to like an actual store, it's closed off to one. I want to ask you guys when whenever you guys saw the news about this, initial we'll, we'll just do initial thoughts at first, and I'll start with you, Nova. Uh, initial thoughts, man. It's definitely going to be a good thing uh, if this does come to be, man. And it and it's actually really cool to see that you know Phil Spencer is still looking to try to bring people towards the Xbox platform itself, um, utilizing like different different ways to do something like that. So, and I'm pretty sure we'll get into more detail a little bit later. But that's my initial thought: is like, all right, man, they're trying to uh, make some moves because uh, the market is a little bit flat. So they're, they're trying to figure out how to get some more money in the pockets, make investors happy. Mm. What do you think, okay. Scale? Uh, uh, initial thoughts. Yeah, it's sounding like the end of consoles. I know that sounds mm. crazy, but it's seeming <laughs> like it, it, it's coming. And I even my notes, I have sad. <laughs> Just because I'm like, man, I really no, it is going to happen. Because I think in, in the interview somewhere, he said in about five to ten years that we're not even going to have like the console is pretty much going to be gone, I'm guessing, or something like that. And I'm like, dang, that seems far, but that's going to come quick, man. That's like a couple yeah. of generations. Like, that's just two more systems. You know what I mean? So initial thoughts on this were, yes, I think it's it's cool now. You know what I mean? I don't have a problem with it. I my I, well, I'm just going initial thoughts. I don't have a problem with it. Initially, it's just, it's just, it came off as like sounding like this is the start of the end. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 What do you think? Do you, well, do you guys think like this? You know, you said the start of the end. Do you think this is a model that more, do you think this is just an Xbox issue or because Nintendo's kind of in their own thing, right? Mm -hmm. Do you think this is more of an Xbox issue to where, 
they see the <clears throat> decline of console sales, um, but th they want to, I guess, be creative in ways to where people will get back on the train, essentially. Um, or do you guys think like this might really be the future? Xbox is just taking the first leap at it. No, I'll, I'll start with you. Start me again. Okay. Yeah. So um, I think that this is more so of an Xbox and a PlayStation kind of thing. Cause I feel like Nintendo has their own niche that they're marketing to already. The Nintendo switch is doing, you know, really well, obviously. And uh, there's rumors of the switch Two coming out and, you know, Nintendo always has their own lane, so they're going to get the bread. You yeah. Know? And they even have some Nintendo <laughs> games on mobile and things of that nature. So, so they're good. Um, I feel like Xbox in this regard is getting out ahead of PlayStation uh, in regards to, you know, opening up the platform quite a bit to, to get more people in. So uh, this is not just an Xbox thing. I feel like this is a gaming thing as a whole um, because you just can't. There's just not more people buying games. This is what it is right now. And as you said several times in previous episodes, Vikings, the, the, the investors like to see growth, you know. And, yeah. And this is Xbox opportunity to try to figure out something um, to do that. But it still seems like they're locked in on the Xbox brand themselves to try to see if, hey, um, if Gen Z is out here, um, it says that shifting this shift is aimed at helping to restore growth in the industry by making more games available to more people on more platforms. Right. Specifically. So if people if, if you can make Xbox the platform that has all these other things, you know, instead of just the walled garden of PlayStation, the wall, you know. Yeah, so on and so forth. You can definitely have your platform being the platform that you can play more than just one type of media. Okay. Um, what about you, Skill? That was pretty much going to be my point. That's what I have in my notes is that if it was to go to one console and not the other, that's a that's a, a game changer in any way, shape, or form. So I, I don't I I see it as Xbox getting a, ahead as well. Uh, but I. I also see it that PlayStation is not going to have a choice but to get Steam on their thing. They're going to die out if Steam just goes to Xbox. That would be insane. They would not. They would get crushed. But And that's why, again, why I feel like it's the start of the end. Because it's just like, man, Steam is, is the catalyst, I feel like, within everything. Because we all want <coughs> Steam, it seems like. Everybody yeah. wants Steam. So if it's able to get on one of these things that's going to be the game changer and Ox xbox would be killing shit if they were the oh, yeah. only ones to get it it would be insanity and that was also my thing is i don't know how steam would run that entire steam library on xbox that sounds crazy that's amazing bro there's games for 99 cents there's free shit. just the amount of stuff that steam yeah. has would boost xbox Man, I can't imagine the Steam logo being green or something. You know, just, <laughs> like that sounds crazy. But that was my kind of take on it, is that if it goes, it's not, it's not just an Xbox thing. It's a, it's a gaming thing. Yes, <clears throat> Steam, yeah. I, that'd be my take. Is that Steam is a catalyst in it all. And if it goes to one place aside from PC, it's gonna, it's, it's a tie turner. Yeah, Phoenix Elite says I don't think so. I think Sony and Nintendo would be just fine. Well, I know Nintendo, Nintendo. would be fine, and and you might. I think for a while there, the Sony Sony would be okay. You, you got you got brand recognition. You got um, depends on what their first party output looks like. Um, but however, if they go day and date PC, I mean, I don't know what what legally what they can do. Um, when it comes to, I'm sure they would fight it like hell, right? Like, yes, our games can come to Steam, but they they can't be running on Steam on Xbox. You know <laughs> yeah, I didn't even <laughs> think about that. If that shit's on Steam, it's on Xbox. If they do this, yeah, dang. but they they might be able legally to yeah. to ban it though. You Maybe, know what I mean? but what the fuck is the point at the end of the day? Now, come on, my, every, this is what I'm saying. Start of the end. Just put it all in the air at this point. It's like, yeah, it's getting crazy. I'd have to look. That was one of my things overall was just like, how is that going to play on these consoles? There's so many games I know are just not all the way out, especially those indie PC games. I know that stuff isn't just wasn't made for, but I, I I'm just curious. I, I don't know, man. I, it's going to be crazy. 
Uh, ours, <laughs> yeah. Ar- Ar- I'm probably gonna butcher this, bro. So I'm sorry. Ours, if Zephy, our Zephy, it says PlayStation using BSD operating system. Okay, free BSD. Yeah, I don't even know what that is. Not do you? I. Um, I I've heard of it, but I don't know. I think it may be a flavor of Linux. I don't know. Oh, really? Okay. Maybe. Let me let me look it up. Oh, uh, it says Microsoft equals Windows, Valve equals Linux, and PlayStation equals BSD. Mm. Okay. Yeah, it says BSD operating system, so it's just its own flavor. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm I'm not that technical when it comes to that. First of all, thank you for the ten dollars super chat. Um, okay. All that goes to the kids. Y'all know that. Um, so yeah, I don't know what. I, I'll do some research on that, man. I'll actually make a note here for myself because I would like to know and see what what yeah. that operating system is is capable of. Does PlayStation even have a web browser on it anymore? It does have a web browser. Never mind. Mm, no, nah. no, no. It's like a you have to do a whole secret thing in order to get into it. I've tried because when I bought it, I was like, I have another media device to watch things on through browser because I have browser sites or not. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> no browser. It's like a secret browser, and it's just too much to even work with. Really? Yeah, for sure. I know. Yeah, I mean, I've never searched for one on my PS Five. Um, I'm telling you, I, but I've looked it up too. It's a whole. It's a. It's, it's a, a whole thing you have to do. Thing. Yeah, it's a whole like secret little thing you have to do to get to the browser. And that's how you know it's not made to just be getting on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's internet they, access. So, mm, yeah. but but they do that because you can kind of run like uh, homebrew from browsers these days. They've made yeah. like hacking and adding things to your system, man, like super easy. Yeah, so. no, I understand. Like, I don't think the Switch doesn't have browser either. I definitely understand <laughs> why. Like, that's just open access to things. Yeah. Yeah. Hard, Hardy Charlie says some of the PlayStation some of the PlayStation system is using Linux capa- uh, capabilities as well. Mm. Okay. So yeah, I gotta look that up, bro. Cause that all seems kind of funky. I don't know. I don't know. It just seems weird. Um, because the Vita OS looked very similar to the PS3 OS. Yeah. Uh, uh, it was. Uh, so Live Area was the name of the graphical user interface. The operating system. It says the PlayStation Vita system software is the official firmware and operating. So, so they made their own shit, bro. Okay. Yeah, it's uh the OS family was Unix like based on free BSD and NetBSD. Okay. Maybe they need to switch up them, that BSD shit to something else, bro, because they always so, getting the hacks. <laughs> I'm just saying, so if that's the case, if the Vita is able to get, you know what I mean, you're able to get like uh, root access privileges and things of that nature on, and it's using free BSD, I'm just saying it, 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 it could be for the console as well. So that was just... I actually didn't mind the Vita interface and stuff, though, as far as how yeah. it ranked and what it, what, it, what it is. Didn't have an issue. Yeah. That was a cool device, man. I'm sorry. They just mm-hmm. didn't support it. <laughs> like uh, yeah. for its whole life, it started out good though. Yeah, that's crazy. Like it, it <laughs> is, bro. Every screen <laughs> needs a console, bro. That's why there's so many Series S's in this house, bro. <laughs> um, so yeah, and then like when the white one drops, I was like, damn, do I need it? And I was like, mm, yeah, I would like to ha- have have uh, because so <laughs> in the chat we were calling it the white girl like oh the the new digital uh series x that's dropping mm-hmm. so so the names for the white one and the black one are becky and sharonda it goes straight sharonda <laughs> <laughs> yeah sharonda's a good name becky it, and sharonda bro it, those both you know what I'm saying? Sure. yeah i think better than becky would be katie <laughs> so, I, <laughs> so i was thinking maybe i'll get the the becky to put next to my uh pc that way i can um i can uh, capture footage and stuff from the Uh, xbox that way i don't have to lug around back and forth you know what mm -hmm. i'm saying so yeah i might be picking up that becky you know what i'm saying it's digital only right it's digital only yeah yeah i hope they have a good price point man we were all speculating yeah I don't I don't think they need to sell consoles. They got a killer lineup coming this fall. I think because you can find the the Series X for around three ninety nine. 
Really? Yeah. On online on Walmart, it's three ninety nine. Refurbished, it's like three fifty. Right. What was the retail like? Uh, four ninety nine. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, so I think they should keep it at that, bro. Like that yeah. low price point of three ninety three fifty to the three ninety nine, bro. Because it doesn't have the 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 optical drive anymore, mm-hmm. right? So you save costs there. It's it's older technology, so you mm-hmm. save more money there, and mm-hmm. you can still get your cut and then save us a pretty pity. And you got it. You need to sell consoles, bro. You know what you I'm need saying? To sell consoles bundle it with a year of Game oh, Pass. Man. Yep. You know it's gonna be three months. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna, definitely gonna be three they months. They said they said we not giving out a full year, but <laughs> that, used to, that used to be nice though back in the day, bro. It had the little year, uh, bro. They y'all runs, remember I, we used to get like six months yearly. Like I used to have stacks of those. I never <laughs> I yeah, I rarely paid for Xbox Live. I had so many cards. I was like, no, 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 I got a card somewhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now they're giving you months. They might give you days. <laughs> <laughs> um, Razor Ultron said, "What if it has two terabytes of storage?" I I still say the same, bro. Like I still think that it should be priced like like ter- like the technology for SSDs has dramatically dropped since two- 2020, right to where two terabytes. Is probably less than what the terabyte was in 2020. Yeah, I think you get like two terabytes for like 100, 150 bucks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you get rid of the optical drive, upgrade to Wi Fi 6, have better mm-hmm. Bluetooth. And, and let me get that expansion slot too. So if I wanted to upgrade it past two, I can very yep. easily. You know it's on saying? there, it's back there. But right. it, the thing I didn't really like about this Series X was it's a proprietary. I was like, y'all, what? Don't, don't pull a PlayStation, bro. Like PlayStation <laughs> went the opposite route and said you can go buy whatever as uh, uh, M.2 yeah, or yeah, whatever, yeah. Mm-hmm. and then and just put it in there. But Xbox was like, no, nah, you're gonna get this proprietary one. Oh, like, yeah. And that shit was so expensive, bro. That shit hurt my. It mind. always is. It always, always is. is. Mm-hmm. I was like, bro, you can't be doing this, man. Yep, they create scarcity on there by themselves. It's like, hey, you want this? We the only people that offer this, so you're gonna have to pay whatever we want. I still That's remember 360 hard drives because you had to buy them shits. I used to be like, bruh, y'all only the only ones, and I'm not trusting a third party hard drive. No. I don't know if there even was one. I don't know. I think but I that was my like, hard drive out in that one. That's what that was actually pretty cool. That was and it was on top. Now I'm telling mm-hmm. 360 era was special. Yeah. 